All right, it's been about five years since I've uh, uh, tested these meters again. Um, so uh, I have the same voltage going into both and they're agreeing. Yeah, they're agreeing like they used to within about uh, one or two, uh, one or two counts at the very, very end there. So that's pretty cool. I'm using, um, let, me, let me pan down here. I'm using uh, uh, one of these, one of these boxes you can get on eBay. I figure what the chip is. It's an analog devices chip. Anyway, um, I could show, I'll show you a better picture of that later. Let me, let me, let me focus on this here. Um, so this uh, box that I have is marked 2.49946. So the box I think has drifted a little, um, but it's pretty close. So I'll go to the next setting. Should be five volts. Uh, should be 499909. So uh, yeah. Uh, that looks like it's been spot on. Um, and they are agreeing within a couple counts. Uh, this one looks like it hasn't drifted as much. Now this one should be 7.49618. 618, 619. Yeah, this one is staying better spec than the, uh, than the HP one. Uh, Keithley's doing a little bit better. And the next one should be 9.99526, 526. Well, so they're a little bit out. So one of the things you have to worry about uh, when you calibrate is um, the temperature of the room. It's a little warm today, so it might have it might have drifted off a little bit. So you need to calibrate it exactly the same temperature each time. I've had the air conditioner running in the garage, so hopefully the temperature is not so bad in here. It's, it's not very warm at all. Um, but yeah, the two meters are agreeing, agreeing at least within uh, five digits. I'm not sure about six digits, but uh, they are pretty, pretty close. Let's go back. That one's definitely within one. That one is definitely within two or three. That one is within within two or four. And this one is definitely within as uh, maybe it's a little farther out. So uh, from my original writing on the box, when I first got the box, and I believe the box is probably probably the most stable thing here. Probably. I'm not sure. Should be uh, nine, four, six. And they're both a little low. Should be zero nine. You got zero eight and zero and eleven. It should be one eight. We're getting uh, twenty and twenty four. And it should be two six. So they're both very high. So that one's drifted the most. But again, <laughs> for the garage, perfectly fine. I just wanted to make sure, you know, everything was still working. And uh, let me show you the let me show you the little box here, the calibration box I'm using. I'm pretty sure I've shown this before. Uh, you can get get these on eBay. I'm not sure how much they're charging these days, um, but it's really nice. You uh, push the button here to turn it on, and you can either get uh, two and a half, five, four, seven and a half, or ten out of it. You know, plus or minus. And but it is very stable. And it, the one that I came with, came with, uh, had uh, calibrations uh, that somebody else had done on the bottom. Um, my numbers uh, were close to these. Let's see, my this one ends in four four. Mine was four six zero nine zero. So we agreed exactly the same on that one. Uh, six one seven. I had six one eight. So that's close enough. And five two eight, and I had five two six. So yeah. So plus and minus two. <laughs> uh, so yeah, pretty good. It has a, a, a rechargeable lithium in it, so you know you don't get any weird voltage things from anything else that's battery powered. But uh, yeah, it's a cool little box. Yeah, plug in the charger. Um, yeah, I recommend these if if you need some stable cal source. Now they're not going to be the exact number, but they'll be a number.